Hello friends, in this part 5 I am going to design this product management page where admin can add a new product, admin can also add a new category and this new category model dialog box will be using jQuery validator to validate its field so if I click on save I get this message now if I want to add a new music player I can simply write here music player and some description for this particular music player so this is a music player if I click on save the music player category gets added here in this particular drop down box now I can add a new product so if I type in iProduct shuffle and if I leave any of the fields blank and I click on save it will give me this validation fields for adding the product so these are the validation message for respective field and I need to add apple this is a music player unit price so the unit price is 600 quantity the 2 and it has also given me message for uploading a file please select a file to upload and the category so if I select a wrong file say for example any of the file which is not an image file say this HTML file open and if I try to save it will again give me a validation fails for adding the product please select an image file to upload so I need to select a proper file so this validation I have done using spring validation and the rest of the validation which I have shown is using hibernate validation so I am using a mix and match of both that is hibernate and spring validation so I am going to choose a proper file now that is available on my desktop for shuffle open and now if I try to save it will give me a message that product submitted successfully now if I go back and I can see that it has been added suppose if I wrongly added the unit price so I have the option to edit the product so it will fill up the form once again which we have designed using bootstrap and say I have changed the price to 32,000 now I am not selecting any file to upload and if I click on save it will again give me the message that product submitted successfully so no validation was required right now for file if I wanted to change the file I could have given the I could have chosen another file but I don't want it to upload the image file so the image remains as it is because we are using the code field of our product to upload the image now once done we are giving the power to admin also to activate or deactivate any of the product so right now there are six products which are active which you can see from view products you can see one of five entries and the second one is for iPod Shuffle that we added just now so if I again go to manage product and if I want to deactivate any of the product so I can simply select this say I want to deactivate this Samsung S7 so I'm just gonna click it it will give me a message confirmation box like whether you want to deactivate the product I will say ok so once it is deactivated it will give me a message product deactivated successfully and if I click on ok it is deactivated now if I go to view products you can see there is no Samsung product available for us and if you want to again activate the product you can simply go and click it here again a confirm confirmation box will come it will ask you to activate the product click on ok activate it successfully so this is what we are going to learn in this particular part so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated on my future videos Thanks for watching.